All right, we're back with another Soul Calibur 6. So when last we left off, we did uh, uh, the, the the girl, her. So now, wait, can I do it? Whatever. Anyway, so we're doing Asteroid. A cataclysm is born. Just as soon as it starts. Any time game, like that, damn. Sestinus, or the Guardians of Truth, worshippers of Palgea, the God of Destruction. In preparation for the day when all will be cleansed, the group performed horrific ceremonies and experiments in underground shrines across the globe. In 1583, which the group calls the Year of Saturn's Crimson Serpent, they were able to make contact for the first time with Palgea the Executioner. Deliver the Sword of Judgment, Soul Edge, to my altar. Only then can the purification begin. Upon hearing this revelation, High Priest Pumpetku devoted himself to the nefarious forbidden arts in order to create a golem of fearsome power. Now, Astaroth, a warrior forged by human hands for the sake of claiming Soul Edge, is nearing his awakening. Sweet. What? Are you certain this is a good idea, Your Grace? Do not fear. This golem of Astaroth is embedded with a special core bestowed upon us by the Great One himself. It will bring Soul Edge to Fiegel Sestimus. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes, I shall bring the Chimeras now. Come on, God damn it, Akaza. That was very nice of her. You bestowed upon me the curse of knowledge. Mm. Yeah, what's up? What's good? Is that super? Alright, I don't know how to. I don't. I don't know how to Astaroth. Can't say nothing. <laughs> what the proto toy? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Oh, yeah, you thought. Yeah, what's up? Mm hmm. Ain't go up, but I. Was, was good then. 
Mm, was was good. There you go. Sit down. Good. You're quiet now. <laughs> I could get used to this. Just look at me go. You are a success. Your master, the war god Ares. Deserves your thanks for bestowing upon you such wisdom and skill. A war god? So he is my master. Splendid. The Chimeras were swatted like flies. Do you see? This is what my research has brought us. I am worthy of a god. This human doesn't should I kill him? I, the High Priest Kuntetku, ruler of Mother Earth, command you! O oh, Astaroth, claim Soul Edge and present it to Palgea the Executioner. All shall know the glory of Kuntetku and Figo Sustavus! This fool will pay for ordering me around. But for now, our objectives are the same. I'll use him to my advantage. Cool. I am ready, Kunpeku, my lord. <laughs> under, under, that guy, Kunpeku? Yeah, orders. Astar made his way straight to Europe with an army of lizard men in tow. Half man, half beast warriors spliced together by the cult. Oh. Oh, okay. With the memory of numerous warriors, grisly faceless bestowed upon him by Kerr, the agent of death, Astar find it easy to follow the scent of blood or death. Either or expelled by Soul Edge. to get a sword talk about boring okay wake up I'm yawning too much I need to see action <coughs> you too huh your blood must be pumping hard from keeping all those lizards in line hmm? this is as far as you go you pitiful drones that opportunist Kupetku cannot be trusted to lead the sect. Kalmipalk, priest of Mars, has ordered the cleansing to begin. Likewise, Kelmy Polk, priest of Venus, says. Yeah, what y'all shut up? I don't care about squabbles between lowly worms. That's what I'm talking about. I like this guy. Why did he look the way he did in Soul Calibur 4? What was going on with that? I know he's a golem, but why he look like a lava monster? Yeah. And why are all these cultists bald? Beep. Oh. Beep. Oh. Hey, let's do that again. Ain't no damn way that happened. The soul of a warrior now lays here to rest. Ain't no way that happened. Y'all, run back. Give me the run back. Stop stalling. And give me what I'm owed. Come here, you little bald bitch. Mm. Yeah, let's go. You th think you funny, huh? Think you funny? Because you part of a cult? Huh? You still bald. You forget that? Oh, wait, Astaroth's ball too. Mm. Yeah, you ain't doing. Yeah, no. Untouchable. I feel so untouched. Right. Anyway. 
What in the world? <laughs> Yo, y'all cultists be all salt bells. Yeah. Yeah, come here. Yeah, yeah, you thought I wouldn't grab you at? Stop being wet. <laughs> Gabe. Zero. Yeah, come here. Stop being weird. Mm, that's Voldo's thing. And you're not Voldo. Yeah, what's up? Oh, how the hell? <laughs> I was so close. I was off by a few pixels. Goodbye. Oh. Can I actually hold that? Because it takes him a while to wind that up. Try next time. Good. You're quiet now. It was embedded be in between them cheeks. That's the sweet spot. Damn yeah, goodbye. Of all the stupid last words. <laughs> Bunch of idiots. Still, that yell was kind of amusing. It's a shame a worm's dying scream can only be heard once. <laughs> Why your voice sound familiar? Is he? Is he Charles from? Tell me this, Kerr. Is Ares obsessed with Clovis? from Code Geass? Even amongst the gods, he is renowned for his cleanliness. You could learn a lot from him. However, you should focus on your goal. Yeah, I like this one. Straight to the point. <laughs> I shall take care of all the rubbish you collect. It should have its uses. Sweet. Cleansing. Kanpeku's enemies without oh cleansing Kanpeku's enemies without mercy as he went. Astar continued on his way, the scent of death growing stronger all the time. Wait, well, how did he join that? Whatever. Upon reaching Europe, he discovered uh, that the genesis of all of this chaos was being by was a being by the name of Nightmare. Damn. Nightmare caused all this destruction. How dare! He goes so far. How dare he? There's nothing left for me to kill. We have you now, you abominations. Your evil ends here. Ares, god of war, grant us your protection. God of Ares. Now you've really made me mad. You're going to wish I just killed you. And yes, I was right. He is Charles from Kogias. Lelouch's father. And also Elizabeth's father from Seven Deadly Sins. He's, what's his name? Bartros? Oh. Hey, what the? Hmm. Yeah, what's up? Hmm? Hmm. Yeah, what's up? Okay. 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 Yeah, what's up? Hmm? What's... What's... Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. What's up? What's... Good. Let me see them. Goodbye. Assault and battery. Their 
weapons and moves remind me of yours. Not that it matters. All right. On to Nightmare. Oh, he's Seth. I know. Yeah, there we go. I, don't, I completely drew a blank on that. From Street Fighter. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? Astute as ever, Astaroth, for various reasons. Those humans were also blessed with the power of your master, Ares. Seems like even war gods have a lot on their plates. Still, it's none of my concern. As long as I get to run wild. Cool. Though irritated by the whims of the gods, Astaroth finally entered Nightmare's dilapidated castle. The smell of death was overwhelming. Before he knew it, he was surrounded by a group of twisted creatures and the Azure Knight himself, who wielded an immense sword with a single eye. Master of the Cursed Sword. Was good. Hey, I saw that movie, if you were to join and I hated it. You insignificant maggot! I'll crush your head with my bare hands! Hey, lizard brains, hold off. Yeah, what's good? We squared up. That's what I'm saying. Get up. You wish. Nani? Yeah, you wish. Aya. Yeah, you wish. I'll say. What do you think, Kerr? Though he is cunning, he speaks the truth. At present, Soul Edge is at half its usual power. Ares would not be happy receiving it in such a state. Okay. I'll play your game. As a token of my gratitude, I shall bestow upon each of you a title. Astaroth, you shall be Sinister Sable. Lizard Man, you shall be Base Bert. What? Thanks? 
<laughs> Is that a little bit of Siegfried coming out in there? Soul Edge was incomplete. Not at all fit for his master, Astaroth surmised. Oh. To restore the sword back to full strength, he would have to cooperate with Nightmare for the time being. Besides, if worse came, if worse came the worse, Astaroth could kill him in his sleep at any time. Yeah, okay, good luck with that. However, the malevolent, the malevolent cult saw Astaroth as having become too complacent and dispatched someone to deal with him. Don't tell me you're gonna betray Lord Kunpeku. Do not be ridiculous. We were charged with finding and claiming the sword soul. The high priest told me to claim Soul Edge. So then, you defy me. That is the same as defying Kunpetku. Why are you undead me? What the high priest wills, Palgea wills too. So it is you who have defied our god and must die. Tell them, Messina. Anyway, send the message to prepare more troops. I don't care if they're golems, lizards, or automatons. Yes, sir. It's almost time to strike. If I could just crush that brat Killick. And Ivy. Soul Edge should get pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they sent the... Because I know there's another uh, golem or automaton that they sent after him. It was like that one lady in uh, Soul Calibur 4. Ashlot? I think that was her name. She was dressed like a maid or whatever. Setting Soul Edge was near completion, Astaroth prepared for his rebellion. While while lying in wait for whilst while lying God damn while lying in wait in Ostrinesburg Castle for a high quality soul to reap, he sensed a tiny slither of death's aura, so slight as to be in Bro, what? Imperceptible to human. God damn, what the Y'all need to start reading the dictionary. Are you aware that someone has taken the hidden path? Indeed. Of they carry a similar odor to that brat. There's no point in hiding. Your stench gives you away. You smell like a rotting carcass in a ditch. Blast. Oh. I know what you're thinking. Most react the same way. He looks strong, but he's probably slow and stupid. I can't describe how good it feels to defy expectations. I admit, I am shocked. You both have a way with words and smells. <laughs> As I'm in a good mood, I'll overlook your insolence. But you of one modified by human hands, the most repugnant of odors to me. I can't let Nightmare feast on rotten garbage. Neat. Let's go. Mm. Yo, overcome these nuts. Mm. Goodbye. Yeah. Shut your mouth. For all time. Good. You're quiet now. Well, 
What's up? Grow. Yeah, you wish. Oh. What's up? What's up? Okay. Oh yeah? You wanna do that? Hmm. Yeah, how about some of that? Yeah, how about take some of that with you too. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Was good. God damn right I am. Oh. Ow. Alright, you're starting to piss me off. You one eyed bandit. Foulest of them all. He really pulled a me. You better not kill me. Ha! Damn it. <laughs> I'll let you hold that. Hey, you quicker than me. Hold on. I'm not good though with Astaroth. What's up? I only know how to cheese. In cheese, I will. Yes. I really hope you like lactose and tyrannic, boy. Let's go. Hmm. Damn. God damn. Maybe I'm the one that is. Hmm. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I. Hmm. Super armor, boy. That's not gonna kill. Oh, never mind. Are you serious? Shut up. I messed up the finisher. Protects me. I'm indestructible. All who defy me shall feel his divine wrath. Determination that is incorruptible. <laughs> this day can't get any better. I'm gonna kill both Nightmare and that loathsome woman. Then I will present Ares with the fully resurrected Soul Edge. <sighs> Once. That's over. I'll. Uh... Something wrong? You appear quite rattled. Enough! It's nothing. First, I'm gonna deal with Ivy. Damn it! Now my day's utterly ruined! Hmm. The names of the I was about to say whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. I was like, Wamu gonna say anything about that? That it? Yep, it will seem that that is it. Alright. Like, comment, and subscribe, and the next one we do will be finally Nightmare.